Hello everyone, tonight I'm going to go over syncing your spreadsheets with Airtable. I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you how to do it and why you would even want to do something like that. Or how this is the reason I would do it. Your, your reasons might be different, but <clears throat> I use a, a really neat little program called Remento. It's for Android. I'm not sure if it's on uh, iTunes or not. And I keep a lot of records. I'm going to show you on, on the screen in just a minute all the records I keep. When I, I, I do it because when I, I, I get inspired, there's no way for me to, to like pursue every thing that, I, that goes across my mind. I, I know a lot of you are like that too. So several years ago, I, I started writing things down and I started anything that I would find that was related to that thought, I would record. Well, as my, my thoughts or my, my, categorize, my categorization of my thoughts or my organization of my thoughts got more complex, I needed something a little different, a little more robust than Memento, which is the, basically the, the GUI, the graphical user interface that, that, that lets me export everything to Google Drive and spread a spreadsheet. So instead of typing everything into you know, a spreadsheet, which is tedious and cumbersome, I type everything into Memento, which has a neat little little DUI. Uh, wait a minute. A neat little DUI and or, you know, something that I can type everything in. So, but it's not a relational database. I can't, for, I can't make relations. Well, it's evolving into more of that, but it's not quite the way I want it. So, uh, um, well, there are, I'm going, show you this. I'm going to share my screen in just a minute. Ah, hold on a minute. Okay. So it's not relational. So if I would, I'm, well, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in a minute. If you want to do something that's very similar, then I would highly suggest that you use Memento and, of course, Google Drive or Google Spreadsheets and Airtable. And I'm going to show you... Uh, how I use it and how you can do the same. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to wear my glasses so you don't have to forget me. All right, now it's going to wait on me then. Okay, hold on a minute. So this is my Memento database, and for example, I keep track of all of the the movies and shows that I want to watch. Because I mean, there's no I mean, when I see something I want to watch, I can't just immediately go and watch it. And sometimes I forget about it. I mean, as life goes on, sometimes you forget you know something that that you wanted to watch the other day or a week ago or whatever. So I started writing them all down, and I started doing that around. I'm not sure when my first entry was. I think this. I think this was around 2015. Yeah, in about 2015 is when I started doing this. And so, but I'm not able. If I find like something that's related to the to, to the to the to the entry that I made, like like uh, something like something like a news piece or something that I found, I can't really attach it easily to this record. Like if I found a website that news about this subject or this title, something about the actor or whatever, I can't attach it to this to this record. And that's where a relational database comes in. I can have another database which I which I call a feed that I add on Airtable that will pull, a, so when I find something that's related to the subject, like for example, getting on, this is a, a British comedy, and if I find out that the actor is playing in a new show, one of the main characters, I would have a feed on here that with different categories that says this person, this ball is playing on a new show. And so I can have, I can organize it in that way. Anyway, it's a relational database. And 
I can't do that here. So I need to do I need to use another tool called Airtable, and that's what I'm going to show you tonight. How to to sync the two, and so you can add you can add your feed or comments or make it relational, however you need to or however you see fit. It's very easy. You're going to need um, you're going to need Airtable, of course. One is like here. You're going to need Google Drive or Google Spreadsheets data in there, which if you're listening, as you probably already have. And if you want to use something like Memento, you can do that. Because I like Memento because Airtable, you have to have an always on internet connection. You're not going to be able to enter data into the system unless you have an internet connection that's readily available. And you know, if it's weak or whatever, you're not going to be able to enter data. On Memento, you can. You can add the data as as you move move about your life, move about your business, and you can still put the data in and then sync it or upload it to Google Drive when whenever that happens. Which, of course, Airtable is not going to get it until it's synced. But the point is, you can still use it. So this is still syncing. The so one doing doing that, you're going to have to initially. Actually, we don't need this anymore. I'm going to turn it off. So initially, we are going to have to 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 map the call map the. We're going to export it or download download into a CSV. And I'm going to type that this is on my desktop. Then I'm going to go over to Airtable. To go over to Airtable, I'm going to start a new table, create an empty table. Oh, no, hold on a second, sorry. I'm going to import, you need to make sure you import a spreadsheet and not create an empty table because it's going to jack everything up if you do that. So I want to choose the CSV file, and this will map everything for you. That way, you don't have to do it. This is media I want to consume. I'm going to upload it. It's already uploaded. So when I connect this with Zapier.com, it is going to add everything. There's my new record is down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go to Zapier.com. Going to log in. So I'm going to make us that. Look here, table. And I'm going to do the new or updated spreadsheet row. I am going to create a record on Airtable. I'm going to use that. So I already have my, one of my sheets in here. Search your Google Sheets account. So I think it's I think it's this one. Okay. So I'm going to spreadsheet that I want is the media I want to consume. I need to find that media I want to consume. Here it is. The worksheet. The movies and shows, games I want to watch. The trigger column is any column. I'm going to continue. I'm going to pick one to set up this app. This is where we map the information. Set up that one.
So let's use this one. To the action app. So I'm going to create an up a record, or I could update it since it's already have a thing there. You can either update, create, or find. I'm going to create so an estimate, success, and to, we need to make sure what space it's going to be in, and I want it to manage my life. So it's that one. And the table is the one that I just made. So let's import a table two. And description, the description, they added. I'm just mapping these fields. Type network. They watch. That's another thing that Airtable won't let you do. So I'm like, I just like those kinds of details. I'm not sure why. I like to know the location of where when I when I think of something. I like to know where I thought of it, where I was when I thought of it. And Airtable won't let you do that. As well. Airtable wants to let you do that. So I like knowing that, and I will, I'm able to do that with Momentum. So that's another reason why I use them in parallel with each other. Okay, review. Okay, let's continue. So this looks correct. Some test the air table and it looks sent. Use that to the top. I want to turn it on. Okay, so that's it. So now when I now when I update a record, like for example, I'm going to let me clean this up a little bit. So now I'm going to update a record. Like I can update a record, I'm going to click task, click task. So, I'm not going to call these details in here, I'm going to put Netflix. I'm not going to put location. And so, then I update it, and I know this is, this is sometimes kind of slow. It's slow to update. So it's slow to update sometimes, so you, you have to so you have to be you have to be careful about that and just just keep an eye on it. And sometimes it'll say that it's been successful or when it really hasn't. So you just need to keep your eye on that. So yeah, that's how you sync your Google spreadsheet with Airtable using Zapier. Dot com and think it's free to use up to a certain certain level I think. But I'm um, I'm going pretty hardcore user so and so yeah that's it. Hope everyone has a good night.
And goodbye. If you want to listen, if you want to hear all of my little my little marketing tips or my technology tips or business tips or ideas or anything that's going through my head, if that, if that interests you, you can follow me here on YouTube. You can check out my website at digitifier.com. And yeah, that's it. Bye for now.